One thing I don't want to lose though, like SoundCloud and Instagram ain't really nothing. I don't really care too much about that. But one thing I don't want to lose is my YouTube channel. That's why I like had that reaction when I got logged out, bro. Cause y'all gotta understand how much memories and effort and dedication is in this channel, bro. Like no jokes aside. I mean, all jokes aside, like it's so much work into this channel even though some videos not, might not be quality or might not seem like the best of work because of my equipment to you guys, but you guys don't understand. Like last year, like 2021, bro, even though there wasn't like the best quality videos, bro, like I, I was trying, like I was doing this shit daily. Like even though it was just share factory videos, it still took a lot out of me to do it every single day. Like every day, bro, every day. I pushed myself to post something and it wasn't just like something boom okay just throw it out there nah like it might seem like that but it wasn't bro like I had hella um clips if I didn't have any clips to just throw in there before I would literally push myself to like get good clips that day so I could have something to post bro it took a lot bro and not to speak about like how how I was like sad like hella hella sad around that time so it just took a lot it took a lot bro it took a lot to like want to do YouTube while I was in that state of mind since I'm already kind of talk about like deep stuff I'm talking about deep stuff already I, I kind of want to talk about what I feel like my best tips are for upcoming high schoolers because i know this is the summer some of y'all is in eighth grade man y'all finna go into high school so i kind of just want to like tell y'all what's the best thing to do um i think i don't know how many tips are gonna be i'm gonna just go off the dome number one don't go in there trying to impress nobody. Don't go in there trying to impress nobody, bro. I promise you, please, please don't do that shit. Cause it's gonna be so obvious, bro. Like I seen a shit, bro. And I seen a shit in freshman year too. Like it's so obvious when a freshman is trying to impress other people or just not, you don't even gotta be a freshman. Just like, this goes for everybody. Just don't try to impress nobody, bro, because it's obvious. But mainly for freshmen, though, because y'all stand out the most as y'all, like, the youngest and the newest. And the newest, like, y'all stand out the most. So that's number one. Number one, don't impress nobody. Don't don't overly impress. Don't try to impress nobody. Like, if you impress somebody, let it be natural. Like, let them be impressed by your natural swag. Like, let them be impressed by you being you. Not you being somebody else. Not you trying to wear the best, the most designed clothes. Like, no. If you gonna, if somebody going to be impressed by you, let that be because you're you. Number two. Um, Number two, I would say, like, focus on school, bro. Focus on school, bro. Like, do not go into high school playing around, bro. Please, bro. Because you're going to be struggling to get that GPA up. And if you don't know what a GPA is, it's grade point average. You need a... a you need a 2.0 or a higher to graduate, bro. And I know you might be like, oh, I got four years, bro. I swear on everything, them four years is like four minutes. I'm not playing with you, bro. Like, this is not no game, bro. Do not. If you're going to play around in your high school years, don't do it freshman year, bro. Do not go into high school playing around, bro. Like, if you're going to play around, play around not in school, bro. Like, Get your friends and go play, like, outside of school. But in school, get your grades, bro. Because I promise you, you don't want to be that upperclassman struggling and in credit recovery and all that. No offense to any of my, like, friends that's in credit recovery. Like, I'm not throwing shots. I'm just saying. For these upcoming high schoolers, bro, don't, just don't put yourself in that predicament. It's going, it's going, like, lessen a whole bunch of stress and a whole lot of worry. Trust me. Two, don't play around. I mean, one uh don't don't try to impress nobody and two do your work three now this is kind of like 
um, contradicting to myself. But I'm letting y'all know a mistake I did so y'all don't do it. Make at least... Be close to, like, two people maximum. Like, make sure y'all like this. Like, at least get two, two, get two close friends. And I say this because I was one of the kids that, like, that didn't care about friends at all. So I was, like, not talking to anybody. And that made me, like, very, 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 very isolated. Like, I didn't have, bro, I had, like, three friends and we wasn't close we was like when we seen each other we spoke but that was it that was it if we didn't see each other then we just probably didn't even think about each other but yeah i would say like get two close friends and make sure you know who they are and make sure you know they that they real and they not gonna like backstab you or nothing like that just make sure you, the people around you is real so make sure them two friends is real number four um i would just say Enjoy your time. That's important too. That's very, very important. That should be number one, but enjoy your time. Seriously, enjoy your time. Enjoy your high school years because middle school is over. And for me, I know middle school is probably my prime time. Like that was fun. Even though I had my bad moments, like I had my like down moments and stuff, but for the most part, middle school was fun. You need to enjoy your time in high school, though, bro. Because I promise you, bro, it's, it goes by so fast. It goes by so fast, bro. And just enjoy your time. Like, enjoy the fact that you don't have to, like, worry about anything. Enjoy the fact that you don't got to worry about, like, stressing about a GPA or anything like that. But, hold on, hold on. I'm not trying to contradict myself. Because you, you need to stay focused. But I'm saying, like, don't... Don't be so focused to where, like, you forget to have fun. Like, don't forget to have fun at the same time. Like, make sure your grades is up. But if you know you're in a good spot in grades and you know you're not going to fall off, bro, like, have fun a little bit, bro. Have fun, bro. Bro, have fun, bro. Like, seriously, bro, have fun. Because you're not going to be in high school forever, bro. I promise you you're not. So it's like have fun number five um just watch who you call your friends i know that might sound like number two watch this is gonna be two and one actually watch who you call your friends and um don't give up and what i mean by don't give up is like if things don't seem as good or in like in your personal life don't give up bro like keep a positive mindset train yourself now while you're young to have that positive mindset because once you train yourself young to push through all these hard obstacles I'm pro i promise you you'll probably be way better off than most of these uh, like adults going through things because you already push yourself you trained your mind to push yourself through hard times a lot so it's like in your brain to be pushing through hard times like once you get trained like that and if something happens in like real life when you're like an adult you already ready for it yeah it might hit you harder because it's adult stuff but your mind is like okay we're gonna push through this because we know how to push through hard times so that's number five it's kind of two in one watch who you watch who you call your friends watch who you around and make sure you push through anything train yourself now to push through like hard times don't let sadness or emotions control you and like make you feel like you can't do nothing bro make sure you push through that shit bro you got this bro like don't let nobody tell you your mindset weak like bro bro do you know who you are bro exactly bro like come on bro you got this bro like don't let that don't let temporary emotions affect your endless success bro come on stand up bro you got this but um yeah i will recap and tell y'all the steps that i was talking about but i damn near forgot so i hope you enjoy them steps because 
honestly, those are very important steps to me. It might they might seem simple, but they're like detrimental. Like if you don't if you don't like follow these steps, I mean I'm not gonna say you're gonna have a bad high school experience, but it's either gonna be lame, um you're gonna be isolated like me. Uh and hey, hey, some people might like the route I went. Some people might like the route to where you just go to school, get good grades, come home, eat, sleep go to school, like not talk to nobody at school. Some people might like that. And honestly, it's peaceful. But what I'm saying is you don't want to like not have fun, bro. That's the main thing I'm trying to get in your skull, bro. Like you want to focus on school, but bro, please find a hobby or something to keep, to make you like enjoy your life outside of school, bro. Cause like this school shit only matters for so much, bro. I promise you, like you don't want to get caught up into it bro and i'm really trying to stress this to y'all because like nobody really told me that like not even on youtube like nobody even really said that like i mean yeah they said join sports and stuff but they didn't say like what i'm saying like have fun outside and inside of well not as no nah. it depends on how much fun you have inside of school like just make sure you get your grades but like nobody really said have fun but I'm telling y'all, like, upcoming high schoolers to, like, um, like, bro, make sure you have a hobby or, like, like I said, like, the two friends or two close friends and y'all just have fun outside of school, bro. Make sure y'all make the best of this time. Like, for real, bro. For real. Oh, yeah. An honorable mention. I advise y'all not to get a job unless you want money or unless your like household situations is like different you got to get a job for some reason but if you don't have to get a job early like me like if you don't have to get a job early 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 don't get it don't get it because you're already in school and you need to begin your grades up and stuff like that but don't stress yourself out with a job bro don't do that bro because a lot of people do that bro and they don't even need to just get a job when you need to get a job not when somebody else is telling you not when a family member is telling you not when like people is judging you because you came from a good family and all that no bro get a job when you think it's time to get a job bro because at the end of the day you gonna be the one getting up at eight or four o'clock p.m or eight eight a.m to go clock in they not finna get up for you and clock in. So it, it does not matter about what they say. It's on you, bro. It's on you. It's on you, bro. Don't let nobody push you into a job when you're not ready, bro. I mean, yeah, it can help you, like, with real life stuff. And you'll be able to, like, be better quicker early on. That's the only pro about it. But besides that, bro, like, if you don't have to do it and you good where you at right now and you still hella young, then don't worry about it, bro. Just get it, like, later when you feel like, okay, now it's time for me to stack up my money before I get grown. And boom. But, yeah, man, that's really it, man. I hope y'all, like, enjoy these tips, though, because I really, I did not think about this at all. Like, I didn't, I didn't write this down or anything. That's why I was like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, because I'm really just going off the dome. Like, I'm really just going off of my experience and what I know about high school and what I know what could benefit y'all. Oh, yeah, another honorable mission. Don't... Mm, this is kind of half and half, because it really depends on you. But me, personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blow all my money on clothes that... Yeah, because this goes back into number one. Like, don't try to overly impress anybody. And that means, like, don't drop a whole bag on one outfit... That's going to impress a couple of girls or something like, bro, you could have did something better with that money or you could have saved it. Like, don't just blow all your money on clothes, bro, because you got to think about it. It's clothes, bro. The most you're going to get is a compliment. If that, if that, bro. So it's just like I advise you just to save your money if you do got money and just save it. 